Hi guys, welcome back to Settlement Survival, and we are continuing our lovely town. Now, 18 citizens still need clothes. Ah. Now, we had a bit of a... Let's put it down to one time speed while we're talking. I had a bit of a... We had a bit of a naturist commune going on. We had no clothes. We had uh, nothing really going on for us. Uh, but we managed to turn it around with our lovely trade deals. The trading... The greatest trade deals of all time. And, you know, we're expanding. Obviously, we don't quite have enough people still. This is a harvest year, so we'll get more harvest from the fields. And we're going to get some more immigrants soon, which is great. Now, citizens are in poor health and move slower. Hmm. Not quite sure why poor health is happening. Can't quite remember. Um, they could be cold. That's one thing. They might not have any clothes. Oh yeah, we do we we don't have any wool. I think we might have leather. Do we have any leather? New technology point. We should still be re getting our research done as quick as we can. We've got a tent. Hmm, bathhouse. Don't really know. Is that? Hmm, this increases health. We need cut stone for that though. So, well, we got. Yeah, we'll get, we do have cut stone. No, we don't. Masonry workshop. Fantastic. We'll get that and then we'll get the bathhouse. Try and increase people's health. It has just gone up one. Bit of hospital. Yeah, we need a lot for that. So, we're getting there. We're not quite there yet, but we are getting there. City stress. Everyone's a bit stressed because their health is so bad. But I'm guessing that's because there's no herbs left. There's cactus juice. Oh, look at all those pumpkins. Wow. Oh, my days. They are some big pumpkins. Not going to lie. I've also got some turkeys now. And originally... Originally, we had one. So I don't know how that's uh, reproduced into a new turkey. With just one turkey, originally, unless it was already pregnant. Um, but yeah, turkey's the only animal we've got, isn't it? So, it'd be nice if we could get some beef uh, from cattle, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, I was going to say, 39 citizens about clothes again. They're coming back with more wool. Uh... Buying wool and herbs. Those are two things we need. It's not too long before they get back, so... We'll uh, stop being a naturist commune for a little bit. Once they bring back the wool. Which will be great. <laughs> Don't want to be a naturist commune for too long. Um, yeah, we've got a lot of stone. Could do with cut stone. So let's get into the processing. So basically now... Yeah, new masonry workshop. So basically at this point... We're just looking to kind of expand our production lines, expand what we're produ what what producing, what we're producing, um, uh, and increase sort of uh, that side of that side of things, and basically get to a point where we're producing everything we can. Just keep expanding, keep expanding. Got uh, we do have the distillery now, right? Thought it would uh, highlight where this other distillery was, but no. Um, food as well. We've we've basically run out of food. Got four people there. Hopefully these harvests bring in enough. Yeah, we've got a lot of people now, so actually running out of food a little bit. Interesting. It doesn't show you like when they're ready to be harvested and stuff. Harvesting 86%, ripeness 0%, I guess. Okay, I guess, yeah, they, they've already been harvested. 387, it's okay. From one farm, that's fine. Oats, what about the pears? They're still harvesting more pears. Maybe could do with another fishing dock, but there's only one source of fish, unfortunately. And they've got two laborers as well, which is not ideal. Uh, this trading post. We do have a lot of people in that caravan, six people in total. So when they're back, we should have a lot more laborers. Fantastic. 
Going really well. One citizen starving. I'm guessing that's the same citizen. 55 of her, uh, a Clovis. Donna is eating food. Yeah, eat your food, Donna. Eat the turkey that you've just killed. Uh, when are they back? I think it looks like they are back. Ah, there they are back. Fantastic. So, wool to clothes. That's good. We've got plenty of wool now. Yeah, people are getting freezing. Raw materials. Yeah, we've got we've got enough fuel. They're all taking down those bits of stone. Fantastic. Ideal. Yeah, they're all freezing. Go get inside. Get 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 nice and warm. Got a load of herbs now as well. So that should increase health a lot. Uh, this masonry workshop. One more little bit of iron ore and we'll be good. Oh. It just looks weird. It's one of those things like when you see the city from the other angle, it looks weird. Like it doesn't make any sense. There's the caravan. So, yeah, they've got the wool. Fantastic. Make some clothes then. Stop people, st stop people freezing to death. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you do like this series, it would be excellent if you could give it a like, give it a share, all that good stuff. It does really help out, especially when we're such a tiny channel and we get basically no views on anything. Um, if you guys who are viewing, give it a like. It definitely helps. It's brilliant. It's a very cold winter, it seems. Minus seven. Ooh freezing Has someone died oh we, we can get people on these now can't we got enough people for that six more I think we're just not getting enough herbs from this gathering hut I guess 57 yes yeah, not not ideal making we need more food really need more food so Let's get it yeah, pretty full. Oh no, th these are orchards. No, we don't want we don't want orchards just just yet. <sighs> We're fine. No orchards. We've already got a pear tree orchard. Oh, we'll go actually. You know what? We'll get one more pear tree orchard. It's the only thing we've got. Um, so I'm guessing you just gradually get seeds and stuff over time it's a red pocket for lunar new year fantastic i'm guessing you get seeds and animals and all that sort of good stuff over time okay get in your house and get warm very nice i don't want to press on you i want to press on the house apparently they all went into enid's house enid you're very nice stop them freezing to death which thank you enid you are a great person you've got lots of water some fish some mushrooms some oats some wild vegetables and some fuel. Living the good life there, Enid. And being a massive help. You need some more agava. To make spirits. Fantastic. Stone into cut stone. I think we'll put the limit of cut stone down to 100. Just because we don't really, really need it. Now, we're going to build a bathhouse, won't we? Uh, services? I'm guessing, yeah. Also, we got a school. I don't think we have a school. So, well, let's get the bathhouse first anyway. It's only got, it's got a radius. Well, this is the perfect place for it. it probably takes in the most houses. Uh, can't be placed there because the well here. Uh, it's just a bit out of. a little bit out of proportion we'll go with there though we'll be able to fit some stuff in here even if it's just like another well or something uh, and we'll go for a school yeah that's probably uh, I don't know I don't know where to put the school to be honest uh, this is the industrial area so probably not up there Here we go there. 
right next to the warehouse, but okay. Warehouse has just got water in it. I hope this warehouse has got a bit more sand and stone and stuff. Yeah, that's fine. It's the same as a storage yard, but better storage, uh, better amount of storage per space, per tile, I'm guessing. So that's quite good. Mainly rope. Oh, we are making a lot of rope. Where is the ropery person? Yeah, I'm making baskets now, I think. Stay on a limit of like 120 baskets. We don't need more baskets than that. We've also got a load of ropes. They're making, the tailor's making straw. Okay, that one's making straw shoes. Yeah, that's that's actually fine. L linen. Made from flax. Ah. Didn't realize that. Hmm. Don't think we're gonna get linen anytime soon. Because we don't have flax. Is it a uh, tailor? Mm, textiles. Now, can you make linen? What about here? Knitting workshop. Nope. Yeah, basket. Uh, reed field. Dump it, reed field. Knitting workshop. Why did it say you make linen again? Go on, tell us. Why do they use from flax at the textile mill? Um. Processing. I don't think we have a textile. We've got a knitting workshop. Don't think we've got the uh, textile mill yet. Let's have a look. Hmm. Yeah, it looks very much like we don't. Yeah, so we're getting, um, we're getting school kids to work, making research. Fantastic. They're the cleverest of us all, these school kids, apparently. Got, still getting a steady amount of herbs. We're back in summer now, so we should be making we should make a lot more a lot more food this year because we've got these four extra fields from what we had before. Oh my days! The turkeys are breeding like hell. Eleven turkeys. Eleven turkeys. No turkey. Right, linen. Yeah, let's have a look what we need for the textile mill then. Uh, trade, no. Binding, no. Processing, isn't it? It's a water mill. Leatherware, refined leather, no. Can process cotton or flax into cotton cloth or linen, okay. Textile water mill and an advanced tailor. We'll get that then. Activate the silk as well. We might be able to get a silkworm at some point. We need mulberry leaves and we need bricks for that. Hmm. Here it is. Clothing factory. The advanced tailor. I wonder whether you can upgrade this to. Yeah, you can. Same function as event, but makes a greater variety of clothes. So the clothing factory is actually better than the um, advanced tailor, but it's it's basically the same thing. Uh, textile water mill. Yeah, we'll go with the water one, of course. Just better in general. How much does it need? No, it needs stone and iron ore. Fantastic. You see these trees growing back quite nicely. So like the technique of like cutting a few down and leaving a few there is, seems to work. Let's make sure we've got enough materials here. So let's do a little bit of a chop there. A little bit of a chop here. Uh, maybe a little bit of a chop there. Fantastic. Autumn has arrived. Time for harvest. Yes, uh, harvesting. I've only all, I all only got one, so that might actually be a bit of a detriment. 480 rice so far this year. That's great. How much are you making with two people? Yeah, the, this rice person is making a lot more. 
than these people up here, but I don't know why that is. Hmm. Health's going back up. Happiness is back up. People are a lot happier. Dong dong. I love those sound effects. Uh, that's, so that cemetery's pretty empty for a while, which is great. God, come on, harvest, guys. It's nearly autumn. Well, it is autumn. It's October. Very slow. They're really slow. Might have to put another warehouse here. I'll put it down this end, actually. They should... The people in these houses should be the farmers, right? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, here's a farmer. That's good. Some laborers. Oh, yeah, the rest of them are farmers. That's good. We're getting dried animal dung now. And we're getting turkey. Come on, finish this off, guys. Also, when are those immigrants going to come? That would be great. One citizens are starving. Got loads of food now. If we need more food, we just we can just up these guys. Uh, town hall. Efficiency of processing which is plus twenty percent. I don't know. Apparently, I don't know what this tick button does. Doesn't seem to do much. I'm not losing money when I do it. it says check for auto redeployment. Five thousand coins each time. Uh, let me just check. Have we got? Have we got wool? Have we got much wool left? Um, where's the tailor? Thirty wool in there. Tools, clothing, textile. Uh, okay, no. We've got a lot of baskets and a lot of straw shoes. Here we are. Process flax into lit linen, please. But we don't have any flax. Uh, seeds can be obtained through gathering. Hmm. We could really do with that soon, sooner rather than later. We don't have cotton or silkworms either, so honestly, right now we'll turn you off. We don't need you going. We do not need you going. Hmm. And missing workshops at the top. Thing is, though, like reeds are not really that important. That's the thing. There's not much else we can make with them, like baskets, flax into rope, rope into fishing nets. Everything has arrived. Fantastic. Come on, then. How many have you? 11. Of course, we'll accept. A few homeless ones. Uh, no one's gone to the apartment though. Like the apartment's ready, guys. Yeah, there they are. They're all women again in the in the in the apartment. Uh, do you know what? We should probably now we've got a few spare people form another caravan. Let's go to Rainier because we haven't yet. We'll buy more wool. <laughs> That's it. The Great Wool Road. It ain't no Silk Road. It's the Wool Road. Um, no, buying, please. Uh, purchase. We'll purchase some herbs. Probably like, I don't know. 230, apparently. That's what I was going for. Not 300, but whatever. Um, textile materials. Oh, flax. We should get flax. Mm. Silk is 25. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's really nice. I mean, we could even buy the silkworm cocoons. And... Yeah, that might be it. Flax, right? Flax! Anyway, we'll get, like, 400 flax. And we'll sell... Cost 630 that we're gonna sell some iron tools as usual. What is this? Requires for survival. Items with stock levels below this number will not be transported to trade buildings. Right, okay, whatever. Uh, again, 
we'll sell a hundred of those. We'll buy the insurance and we'll form that and off you go seven people. Have a good time and it's pouring down right now. That uh, sound effects. Whoa! What the hell is this? Floods will inundate farmland and cause no harvest. Oh Jesus. Ah, <laughs> it's just a big lake. <laughs> Please. Oh, no, no. How long does this flood last for? Because it's really annoying. I can't see anything. <laughs> they don't care. They're just walking through it. But I guess no farmland harvest for a while is actually pretty terrible. Could do with these floods going. Like when are they? When are they going? Look at them go! You can do it. Look, they're up to their necks. <laughs> That's how deep these floods are, and they're still working. Good citizens. You know I wouldn't settle for any less. We will actually turn you on um, because flax will be here soon. Well, probably 360 days or so, but. Soon age. <laughs> mining. We haven't even gone into mining at all yet, really. No for quarry. Can produce stone. Mine can produce iron and coal. A senior mine and deep mine. Deep mine has a limited output. That's pretty good. We need building kits and we need steel for that though. Should probably move into this. We should probably activate. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not activate anything just yet, just because it's. Hmm. Pottery workshop used to process clay or sand into cutlery. Well, what does cutlery do? Process iron timber or gold sand and jade into statues for trading. Jewelry. Process silver or gold sand and jade into jewelry. Yeah, fine. Dock. Merchant ships will come to the dock every period of time with goods. So you know what? We'll get that and we'll get the dock. We've got a guy coming. So. It's quite a big building, really, isn't it? Get it on this lovely outcrop of land here. I wanted to try and take up as little land space as possible, really. There we are. It looks pretty cool, though, as well. I like it. This tower. Pretty sick. So this is our kind of like industrial area up here for now and once we've run out of space there we'll probably create another industrial area around here somewhere and this is like quite a good farming little zone down here it's nice and flat we'll have to build mines around these bits which is fine also yeah how bad was that then ripeness is only 40 percent this in july hmm not brilliant Traveling merchant, come to the settlement. If you pay some silver coin, we will offer you some goods that you've never seen before. Uh, uh, hmm. I wish I wish I was able to give him some coins, but unfortunately, we're getting one thousand three hundred fifty. Yeah, next time he comes, we'll have enough. We'll have enough money. Which is excellent. But yeah, I think that's going well. Um, but we'll be able to make that very soon. We need to make sure food is stable. Obviously, food is the most important thing. Can't even press on the uh, traveling merchant anymore. He's so sad. No, I can't press on him anymore. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, but I think that's going to be it for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you're enjoying this series. It's uh, really helpful. Really, really helps us out. But thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you again in the next video.